hello guys welcome back to my channel this is Ajalam here thank you so much for coming around if you're new here you're welcome consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you get to know anytime I post new videos so today we are going to be making a simple budget friendly flower girl dress for a wedding party so if you're interested let's get started I have all that I'll be using to make this beautiful outfit so I have my net here it is half yard of um, veil net and I have my satin I'm using satin for this if you want you can also use a cotton um, like um, fabric to make this dress and it's going to turn out very well so I'll be using satin and I have two and a half yards of my satin and I have two yards of my lining so we're going to start with the pattern because this dress is going to is not going to have any half cut it's just straight from the shoulder um, to the hemline is not going to have any half cut so I have my pattern as you can see I have two already folded okay so this is the first one folded and this is the second one folded okay now the first thing to do is to mark out the off the shoulder because we're going to use the off the shoulder method to make this dress I have a lot of videos on how to go about making an off the shoulder dress so you can check that out to see um, a detailed way of going about making an off the shoulder dress all right so for this I'm going to minus four inches okay so this four inches is what I'll be using for the um, the sleeve which is going to be this net that I just showed you so I'll just minus four inches and then I'll mark out the length of the gown so the gown the length is um, 40 inches and that is exactly what I have on my paper here now from there you can see the way I place my my tape okay so this is the four inches from there you will mark out the chest line okay so for this the chest line is um, 7.5 which is here okay you can also take your basic bodies and then check what you have there and then transfer it on this pattern so the chest point is 7.5 so I'm going to mark that out and connect it straight so after connecting that straight we're going to mark out the chest point we are going to be needing that because there's going to be a dart on this dress remember I said that this dress is not going to have any half cut so you need to mark those out so this is the chest line okay now like I said the next thing is the chest point so from the shoulder to the chest point is um, nine and quarter so I'm going to mark that out as well you can see that I also place my tape minus four so this is nine and quarter and then connect after that I'll mark out the under the chest measurement for this it is um, 10.5 so I'll just go ahead and mark 10.5 and then I'll just connect all to a straight line all right here I have that all marked out already so this is the chest line this is the chest point and this is under the chest point okay so now the next thing to do is to mark out the bodice length and for this the bodice length is 14.5 you also place the minus 4 there and then mark out the bodice length that you're working with so I'll just do that and connect it to a straight line. After connecting, connecting it to a straight line, you're going to mark out the shoulder measurement. Alright, so this is the waist. So we're going to mark out, like I was saying, the shoulder measurement, which is, for this, it is 7 inches because the shoulder measurement is 14 half of that is seven so I'm going to mark that seven here and also bring it down to this chest line then I'll connect it straight so 
so i'll just connect it straight now on this line this is where we are going to be marking out the chest measurement so for this the chest measurement is 34 so i'm going to divide that by four and then mark it here and i'll be adding one inch for my ease and my sewing allowance okay then we are going to curve it to meet up this line it's as easy and simple as that okay so this is what we have on this part now the next thing to do we are going to be marking out the dart okay and to do that you need the chest pan measurement so for this the chest pan measurement is seven inches okay so i'm going to be marking half of that okay so for half for that i'm going to mark it you're going to start by marking it from this um neckline this is going to be our neckline now so you need to mark it from there but i'll be marking instead of three and a half which is half of seven i'll be making it 3.75 the extra here now is going to be like the sewing allowance okay so that by the time you join it you have it exactly seven inches if you mark um 3.5 which is half of the seven inches by the time you join you end up having 6.75 or even six point five so i'm going to take it now all the way down to the hemline and then i'll connect it to a very long line all right as you can see i just connected from this neckline to the waistline now on this waistline we're going to add the darts and for me for this part i'm going to use half an inch on both sides that is for this waist side so I'll just mark half an inch and I'll also mark half an inch on this other side so this is the darts leg now so I'm going to connect it to this waistline now this is um, the waist and you can make it um, quarter an inch or you can also make it 0 0.75 so that it will really show that um, that is the waist Part. so i'll just connect i'll go with half an inch here it's okay for me so i'll just connect it straight to this chest point and then i'll connect this other side as well so after connecting we are going to return whatever i used here as the that we're going to return it on this waist line okay so the actual waistline is 30 two inches sorry 31 inches which is 7.75 which is here now this half inch on both sides is one inch I'll, I'll add it here which is one inch and i'll also add my one inch for ease and sewing allowance okay so this is it all right so on this neckline now on this neckline i'll be marking quarter an inch on each side okay if you want you can also use half an inch on each side but i'll go with quarter an inch and then we're going to connect it back to this chest point and we're almost done with this part it's very easy as you can see so just connect and we're also going to return this on this um, whole part so this quarter an inch now is half inch so i'll just add it here and then this is now the new um armhole okay if you don't return it whatever you take here if you don't add it up here you're going to have shortage at the end of the day so now this is the new armhole line so after doing this now i will just connect this straight And the body part is ready so the next thing now i am going to connect from this point here this point i am going to take it down to this edge but this side now you decide it's up to you to decide how wide or small you want this hem part to be okay so for me i'll make it 10 if you want you can also make it 12 or even 8 if you're making for um small kits so you can make it 8 or even 6 but i'll make this 10 okay for older kits you can just go 
from 10 to 14 depend on the body size of the girl so this is 10 i will now connect it from that um waist that this way so i'll just connect it straight down to that point And this is what I have okay so the center um, front is ready so I'm going to cut this center front so we can use it now to determine the side okay then for the side I'm going to use this other paper to do that but before all that let me just cut this out first then we we'll continue all right after cutting it out this is what i have as you can see i just cut that out so we're going to use this now to determine the um the other side but before that on this part i'm going to go up by half an inch i don't want this part to be this sharp so i want it a bit curvy so i'll just mark half an inch on this point and just you know connect it straight back to the line and cut it off it's very easy so I'll just cut it off and then I'm going to arrange the plain paper the other paper so we can cut the side all right to um, cut out the side the first thing I'm going to do as you can see this is the second paper I just place this on top okay so the first thing I'm going to do now is to check what I have from this edge of my paper to this side line so it is two and a half okay so this is two and a half inches i'm going to remove this now and mark two and a half inches all the way down to the hem area so this is going to be a guide for me to know how to cut the side so this is two and a half you can just mark that and connect it straight down to the hem okay so i'm going to connect it straight Then after connecting it now, I am going to place the paper back so that we can finish up. Alright, so for this, you can just connect it from the waistline. You don't need to go all the way up. Okay, so just connect it. And then I'm going to take my paper and place it back like this. So I'm going to place it back. Before we continue, I would like to remind us that our online classes are on. So if you're interested in any of our online classes, kindly check the description box for a number to reach out on how to go about that. So after connecting that, as you can see, I am going to um, pin this part. Okay, so I'm going to pin this part now. As you, as you can see, I'll just pin it before we connect from this waist down to this end you know the first one we connected this this other way so now we are going to connect to this other side so before that i'll just pin it together with my paper okay you need to pin it i'll remove this part it's no longer needed okay so i'll pin so that it will not move Okay, so after pinning now, we are going to connect from this dart leg here to this other end, like this. Okay, just take it down. Almost the same thing I did before, just that this side now you move it to this other side, no longer this way. Okay, and that is just that, so I'll just go ahead and cut. This time we're going to be cutting off this other line and then you cut through this way. When you get to this point, I will now remove this. We will now follow up that line, okay, and cut it all the way down. Alright, after cutting it out, this is what I have. This is now the side. 
I'm going to open it so that you see how it's going to be. Okay, so this is the center front, as you can see. This is the side, and this is the other side. Now you can see that we have it very um, accurate. So this is how it's going to be. Now remember that we'll, we'll be adding a flounce to this um, dress and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so for the back side, it is the same way. The only thing now is that you will need to add your one inch for zipper allowance when you're cutting out this part. Okay, the back is going to be the same way. So just when you place this on your fabric, make sure to add one inch or um, 0 0.75 or whatever inch you prefer using as your zipper allowance include that before you cut this for the back side every other one every other part you're going to cut it out the same all right so i'm going to place this on my fabric cut it out so we can cut out the plants and then start sewing So after cutting it out, this is where we are so far. This is the back. As you can see, I've joined it already. Okay, you just follow the line and join it that way. So this is my zipper line. I just close it up, but later I'll open it and attach the zipper. Now this is the front. This is the front. I'm going to join one side and I'm going to leave one side open. That side I'm going to leave open is going to be where I'll attach the flounce okay so you can choose whether to attach that on the front uh, sorry on the right or the left side of the dress so for this i'll be um, attaching that on this left side so i'm going to close up this right side and then leave this part open after that i'm going to show us how to cut the flounce and i'm going to use what i have left of my fabric to do that um, i'll be making the flounce from the neckline to the hem line that is if what i have left will um, cover if it doesn't cover or i'm going to take it from the waist down to the hem line but let me just join this first and then we finish up all right now we are going to be cutting out the flounce and to do that this is what i have left of my fabric so i divided that i just folded into four you know same way you fold when you want to make a, a full circle dress so i just notch this point this is going to be the center point then i'm going to open it up i hope what i have here will be enough to take this to from the neckline to the hem line but let's just see how it goes from the neckline to the hem line it is 35 inches while from the waist to the hem line is 25 inches so i'm going to um, work with what i have here and see what will happen so now this is the center point okay this is the center point i hope you can see what i am doing all right so now the first thing to do is to determine the width of your flounce so for this i'll be making it five inches my sewing allowance um, is already included in these five inches so i'm going to mark five inches and then form it um circle it okay so this is five or let's say Five, is, five inches is okay. I just want it a little bold. But if you're making for um, for younger kids, uh, sorry, for um, kids that are below five years, you can make use of four. Okay, but this, I just want it to be a little bold. So this is five. And I'll place it this other way to form a circle. This is five here. This is five here. Okay, so I'm going to connect. So after connecting now, this is what I have. This way I'll also connect. Okay, All right, so I'm going to mark five and then make it to be like a circle. Okay, so I'll just now move it so 
So I'm going to just do this quickly and then this part is very easy. So let me just quickly um, connect this to a circle. Alright, here I just finished connecting it. This is a full circle and as you can see we have four quadrants here. So the first thing to do, these two that is facing me, I'll be working with these two quadrants facing me directly. So on this first one here, I'll just divide that into two. Okay, just divide it into two as you can see. I just divided that. Now on this second quadrant, you're going to check what you have here. Remember from this center point to this point, it is five inches. So I'll just get the midpoint, which is 2.5. And on that 2.5, I'll just mark half an inch downwards. Then we'll connect it now from this center point. Just connect it, let it touch the half an inch and then move it back to this point. Okay, just like a little slope on this part. Okay, so just take it down a bit and connect it here. So now after doing that, we're going to mark the five inches that we're going to use for the width all round following this line. Okay, now this is the first one I'm starting here. I have my five inches already. So I'm going to move my tape and follow this slope area and keep on going that way. Okay, so I'll just keep on marking the five that way after which I'm going to connect all the points now you can see the way i am placing my tape just follow the line that way okay so I'll just keep on going that way Alright, here you can see that I just finished marking the 5 inches all around following the shape. Okay, I just finished marking that as you can see. Now the next thing to do is to check if what you have is enough. That is for the length you want to use. Now remember I said from the neckline to the hemline it is 35 inches. Let me just check. So from this midpoint, this slope, this is where we are going to start to check what we have. We follow the line like that. Okay, just like that. I'll just keep on moving it. Alright, this is the part that we're going to be cutting off. So I am just moving it to check if I have up to that. So here I have 35 inches here. So I'll make it 36 because we need one inch to join it together. Okay, so I just um, connected it there. So this part is not part of it so this is where it ends now it's time to cut and it's very easy so i'm going to start from here now as you can see i'll just open it up here and then take it through this way this way on getting to this point we are going to take it in follow the slope and cut and end it on this point okay so let me just quickly cut All right, after cutting the flounce out, this is the shape that you're supposed to have. So all I did here was to um, um, use the same to cut out another one, making it two, because I'll be using one now as the lining. So this is what I have. If I open it up, I have the length that I want to use, which is 35 inches. Okay, so this is how it's going to be. Then the next thing to do is to sew or close up this part okay from here i'm going to take it all the way down to this other end and also close it up this way so this part is where i'm going to leave open because we're going to join it on the front one like this so this is the front here so after sewing this part and then you turn it inside out or you just place it here this way this is how it's going to be 
okay but i'll come down by half an inch you know this half inch here is for your um, neckline sewing allowance so you just come down by half and follow it that way and join it all the way down to the hemline after which i'm going to take this part that i left open remember and place it over it this way and then close it up nicely it's very easy just try it out so let me just quickly sew this and then give it a good press so we can add the sleeve all right after joining the flounce with this other part this is what the front looks like as you can see it's already looking so beautiful now there are so many ways of um, cutting out your flounce but i use this method because because i want it as simple as possible so this is it i just join it with that part now the next thing to do is to cut out the sleeve all right so for your lining you are going to be cutting out your lining same way you cut out this the only difference now is that your lining should be the length of your lining should be short, uh, two inches shorter than the main fabric so like this one it is 36 um, inches so the lining should be 34 inches that is just the difference every other thing is the same so before we join the lining the first thing to do like i said earlier is to cut out the sleeve part and to do that the first thing i'm going to do is to mark out half an inch for this um, whole sewing allowance and check what I have left from this joining here to that point. So what I have here is 2.5. You're going to multiply by 5. Whatever you have, you are going to be cutting that out on the net. Okay. So the width now should be whatever you have after multiplying what you have here by 5 or 6 or 7. Depending on how fluffy you want the, two, uh, the net to be. And then the height of the sleeve, as we already know, I use 4 inches. That is to say... Four for front four for back making it eight and then you also need your half inch for the front um, neck sewing allowance and also the back sewing allowance everything now should be nine inches so I'm going to um, calculate this first 2.5 times 5 whatever I have I'm going to cut that out then the height of it should be nine inches all right here is my net as you can see is already on fold this is half here that I just fold into two okay so it's already on fold i'm going to fold it again making it four because i want to double this so i'll just fold it all over again now the height of the sleeve like i said should be nine inches so i'll fold it to make sure that i have nine inches okay so let me check what i have here okay so this is nine inches i'm going to mark that out and then I said I'm going to multiply whatever I have on that neckline towards the ample side. It's 2.5. So I decided to multiply by 8 and it gave me 20 inches. I'm going to mark out the 20 inches this other way. So this is the 20 inches. Okay. So I'm going to mark the 9 inches height this way. So this is what I'll be cutting out now for the sleeve, as you can see. So this is the sleeve. It's very easy. After cutting it out, you just take your um, gather stitch and gather it. And just place it on the neckline and that is it. Okay. So I'll just divide this here. One is going to be for one side, the other one for the other side of the sleeve and we are almost done okay so i'll just take my gather now gather stitch and then gather it on both ends this way and on this other side and then pull it together after which we'll now join it on that neckline part i'll repeat the same on this one so we can just conclude all right before you um, gather this part you need to close it on this other end that is open make sure that you close it and then you turn it inside out so that this part will now be inside then keep it at the center like this make sure that the line is at the center not at this end then you keep it this way and then gather it um, on both ends so here it is i just finished sewing this on this part that i said earlier this is how it's going to be okay by the time you join the back side you have it like this okay you can also um use like a bow or a rose to just you know secure it nicely here so that it will not be moving but i will not do that because i want um i want to let it come down this way to be like a normal sleeve 
for her this is the shape that I, that I want this part to have so after joining it you're going to do the same on this part you just sew that in and then take your lining and place it over like this making sure that the front is facing each other remember i said that your lining should be exactly um, like what you have on your fabric except that it should be two inches shorter than your main um, fabric so you keep it this way and then close it up nicely use the half inch here that i left close the armhole just follow it as it is and then close it down to this end and then you turn it inside out and give it a very good press okay then you now turn the sleeve now to the back you know just the same thing you transfer the same thing to the back side place it on that back um, neckline exactly what i did here and stitch it place the lining just like that and then you close the side and add your zipper so that is how to go about making this simple flower girl dress all right you can also add your own twist to it so that is it for today Please subscribe if you have not and I will see you all in my next video.